Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about filtering data in Google Sheets using slicers and pivot tables. And here, as you can see, I have the country names, the country codes, the years, and the annual percentage change in the GDP of these countries. I have downloaded this data from the World Bank website where they give the information each year about the GDP growth and decline of each country. In order for you to download this data, and from here, you can download the data in the format that you like. Now in here, as you can see, I have the list of the countries, and besides it, the percentage of change in the GDP each of the years from 1960 up to 2022. Skimming through all this data to find a specific country in a specific year will take a lot amount of time. In order to decrease that time, we can use filters using different methods. Method number one is the slicers in Google Sheets. In order to insert the slicer, I'll go to data from here, I'll add a slicer. And for the slicer, I'll select the column name, which is the country name. So from here, if I select any of the countries, for example, let's go and select the United States. And as you can see, we have the country name in here. If you click OK, you will have only the information for the United States in here. So we can do any type of analysis if required for this specific country. Another way to filter our data is to use the pivot tables. For that purpose, you will go to insert. From here, you'll select the pivot table. You will insert the pivot table in a new sheet and click create. The pivot table will be created in here. We will bring the country name under the filters and maybe the years under the values. For example, let's select a specific country. Again, let's select the United States from here. So if we select the United States, click OK, and let's have the GDP percentage change for 1967 under the values, and let's have the GDP for 1972, and maybe let's have the GDP for 2022 to compare the results in here. So in here, as you can see, the count is given. In order to change this to sum, we will select the sum from summarized by. And as you can see, we have the GDP percent change for each of the years. So this is how you can filter your data using pivot tables and slicers in Google Sheet. If you found the content of the video helpful, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and following us on Instagram or LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.